first off, I'd like to thank all the awesome YouTubers, as always, who got me started in 3D printing. So big thanks to them. Watch their videos. And today I'm going to talk to you about uh, bringing over some principles from from resin printing. Sorry, you have to look at my mug. I didn't feel like turning the camera on myself live. Uh, we're talking about resin printing principles applied to our FDM printers. So one of the things we do when we're printing on our resin printers is we angle a lot of prints. And there's primarily two reasons. One is to fight suction. So if you have a cross section of a model like this, you might want to tilt it so the biggest, fattest part of the belly is not horizontal, doesn't create the most suction to your plate. Also, the other thing you want to do is, and you can see from the chart here, there are different angles depending on your layer height reduces the appearance of the layer lines. And it's a pretty simple formula based on, on the layer heights and then the angles. And I thought, you know what? FDM printing is the same as resin printing uh, in this regard, not of course in terms of suction, but in terms of angles and lines. And I print terrain on my Ender 3 and it looks amazing, but I thought, wait a second, I should be using my resin printing principles in my FDM printing to make that terrain look even better. So I thought, what if I just tilted my FDM models the way I tilted my resin models when they're flat enough that I want to avoid layer lines, which honestly on minis not that often because they curve in all different directions, but on terrain, yes. So what I did was I took a, the top part of a chimney and I angled it about 30 to 40 degrees on the left. And then I left it flat on the plate on the right over here in between my wood pile. This is from the... Uh, city of Tarok. It's part of the bakery expansion, if you're wondering what it is. And I'll show a picture of it at the end. And I thought, okay, if I tilt this, this piece at 30 degrees, theoretically, the top of it should look way better than the one on the right, because the layer lines are going to be, according to the chart I have over there, are going to be minimalized. So I thought this is something I probably should have been doing the last five months, but I never really thought about it, but I'm thinking about it right now. So I threw them on my ender. It's about, because of that bigger piece in the middle added in, it was about a three hour print time. Now let me show you the pictures. This is unretouched, unmessed with. I didn't clean up the prints at all, but look at this. This is pretty amazing. The one on the left that was angled, you can barely see any lines on it. You're looking, of course, obviously at a high res, super close up photo. And now look at the one on the right. You can absolutely clearly see, it looks like a topographical map looking at the layer lines there. Now, I could sand the one on the right a little bit, but the one on the left, like some very minor cleanup with my X-Acto, just scraping off the little white bit you see, which I, some of that might just be dust even. When I scrape that off, this piece already looks perfect. It doesn't need sanding. It's not going to need heavy primer, which I normally use on these pieces, because the one on the right, to fill those gaps, I would need some pretty heavy primer and a nice thick layer of paint. It'll still look good, but by angling a little bit, like I do on my resin prints, boom, look what I've got. So I think we should all start applying these resin principles, especially a simple one like angling the print in order to minimize the appearance of the layer lines. And again, this, this works mostly best on flat pieces, things that are curved and all going in different directions. They're going to create their own angles anyway, so it won't matter as much. But this was like a mini revelation for me. I just wanted to share it with everyone. So hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe and please check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, everybody.